All right, we're going to get the E-mini up. I'm going to have one more try. Here's the E-mini for y'all. Take a peek. Uh, we tried to get it up a minute, moment ago. And, uh, I said we went fine. It went, it went up. But the video, I could not catch the video correctly. That being the case, <clears throat> We're going to try one more time. Right, we're going to get this on real quick. A model thing. Now. Sit down there. Get the rest of the guys. Let's uh, get the phone on. Get the app going. All right, here we go. Right, we're gonna be on in a minute. Let's take a seat here. This one goes. We'll go out to show the app, I guess. Uh, we don't have to go too far. Uh, Take off. Lost the audio and video after the takeoff. So we're doing a little voice over here. What you see now is I'm navigating out of the driveway. I have to clear a couple of lines, the electric line, and then there's uh, one more little guide wire. And finally, uh, navigate over the tree there. And I had planned just to go down to Sh uh, Shelton Avenue, which is the next block over. Uh, and, you know, it's, a, it's new to me, the whole thing. So I'm learning as I go how far I can go, how high I have to go, learning the controls. So in this thing, once I get up there, you sort of lose all focus. And you're just, uh, you know, you're just flying the thing and without any real purpose to it. Uh, but every time I do fly, I, you know, it's one or two things that I, I, I get settled on. And when I watch the videos uh, like I'm doing now, uh, I see some things that I want to try. One of the main problems with this particular uh, uh, flight is I'm still unable to see uh, what the drone is seeing because uh, the phone I use, that's me right there in the corner there. You can see right, right here and uh, right in that little tiny driveway. I'm still, un still unable to see what the drone is seeing because of the light where I'm at. And... Uh, so even though I'm, it seems like I'm looking around, I'm just moving the drone to see what, you know, it sees what it sees. But once I, I have a new device coming this evening, this is Shabbat evening, Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom, uh, March 26th. And once I see, I can see what the drone is seeing, then I could direct, you know, like if I'm at this particular church, I want to see something in the front of that. But at this point, I'm unable to do it. Uh, Part of it is my experience, part of it I can't, I don't even know what's looking at the church until I, you know, I take the drone down and see the, the video. But I think at some point I'm going to be able to fly, keep on going until I get into the front of the church and turn the drone around and look. It's something that I want to see. I see it when I walk the street down there. All right, here's a, this is a shot. I'm, you know, I'm just moving, I'm just moving it around. Uh, and in a, in a moment, uh, I plan to, uh, you know, just land a drone. Uh, and it's a good experience. I enjoy uh, learning something new. It's interesting. It doesn't have any real, uh, for me per personally, any practical applications other than a hobby that I'm developing. And I could create, a, I get into the cinematography of it, which I, at the moment now, I don't know how to, you can change all these settings as far as how dark it is. You see the colors look don't look uh, like they should possibly. No, the greens are dull. I'll be able to do that, all that on the fly, uh, uh, you know, instead of uh, just flying it on the default settings and it's not giving you an uh, accurate representation of what they're seeing. All right, here's the last part of it. I'm trying to duck between these two buildings You'll see me in a minute. I'm sitting right here in the middle there. 
And as I'm bringing it, I have to, you know, watch out for the wires. It's a, it's a real, uh, you have to be focused because what's going on, if you hit, hit a wire, a tip of wire, who knows what it has, especially if it's an electric wire, or if the your drone is going to crash. Or if you're not landing properly, it's on somebody else's roof. So you have to really, uh, you, have to, you have to be tuned in. You have to be, fun. I noticed that it's not, it's, it's enjoyable, and it's, but it really has to be focused. It's not a light thing uh, in general because the drone costs a, a nice little nickel and you can easily uh, mess up and, y and the drone is gone. Right here, this is the catch. What I'm doing, I'm getting close to the drone and I'm sticking my hand out. I'm going to have that recorded in the next video, possibly, where you can see how, how you catch the drone. The drone never even touches the ground. I'm sticking my hand out. Once it gets underneath, the sensor's recognized and it lands in my hand. All right, Shabbat Shalom, Hebrew Fishing Philly.